what is up Taurus welcome to divine conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for September of 2021 thank you guys so very much for tuning in so please keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't also um, we could be talking to a cross watcher here yeah so keep that in mind the roles could be reversed whatever yeah let's get into this Taurus so I have a pre shuffle here for you um, and what seems to be happening in your energy for, first of all, Taurus, you're showing up um, for your own reading. Uh, it was the very first card that came out and it feels like you're showing up in a pretty strong way. That's what I'm hearing. First card out for your pre-shuffle is the King of Pentacles here, okay? Now, for some of you, for some of you, yes, you're, uh, well, you're showing up in your own reading as the king of pentacles but what i'm feeling pretty specifically for you right now taurus is that you're showing up as the king of pentacles because there are some sort of financial endeavors that you are embarking on right now or that you there's a financial focus where your focus is on your finances or on your business how you can make ends meet how you can up your game how you can move forward in life somehow king of pentacles with that king of pentacles you have temperance the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the King of Swords. So what I'm getting with this for you, Taurus, is that um, you're showing up as this King of Pentacles energy because you are in the process of now making moves, taking action towards something. It feels like you may have been in a planning process for a while, or there may be there may have been some sort of energetic process that you've been going through to help you get to the point where you are right now in terms of being willing to take action. What I'm getting with this King of Pentacles energy is that you're now following through with some sort of course or some sort of plan of action. And for a lot of you, or maybe even most of you, this has some sort of financial um, goals or uh, financial something that has to do with finances somehow moving forward in business in a certain way moving forward with certain things that you have come to the conclusion is the right thing for you to do in order for you to move forward here you have temperance with the king of swords and the ace of swords so what this is saying to me is that you've been working with the universe on this temperance okay there has been an effort to try and find balance in your life and this could very well be how to find balance in your finances, okay? I am getting that pretty strongly for you right now, Taurus. But with temperance here, there has been a process of alchemy. There has been a process of what I'm, what I'm understanding this as, a process of trying to understand what it is, where it is you are or what it is you need. And thusly, there is a decision that has been made or there has been a, a rumination process, <laughs> ruminating process, you can call it, with the King of Swords here, of which now you've been able to come out of with an inspiration or an idea, Ace of Swords, and that's going to move you, lead you forward somehow. Six of Swords, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck for you, you do have the Queen of Swords here, all right? So you do have the King and the Queen of Swords. Where, however it is you're moving forward, Taurus, I really feel like this has been a long process of trying to figure something out. Being very cognitively aware is what I'm hearing. Now, at the bottom of the deck, underneath the Queen of Swords, is the Five of Pentacles to the Hermit. To the, That's enough. Okay, so which this makes sense now. When I was looking at the bottom of the deck before for you, Taurus, I didn't under, really understand what the Queen of Swords was trying to say. So it was trying to say. In relation to all the other energy that I'm feeling here or that I'm seeing here for you, the Queen of Swords felt a little bit out of place, mainly just because of her forceful nature. And the fact that what I'm feeling for you, Taurus, is that this is not some this is not a decision or a conclusion that you've come to or that you've made from a realm, from a, an, a, an energy of being forceful. What I feel is that you've come to this conclusion or this understanding through time and through going through the process and trying to understand exactly what it is that's around you. But you still have this Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. But once I looked underneath it, now I understand what the Queen of Swords represents here. Because there is an energy or a level of not wanting to play to any sort of woe is me, I can't do for myself, um, you know, I'm destitute, I need help, I, I need like... Not to say that asking for help is wrong, but thinking that you can't do for yourself, thinking that you can't pull yourself out of this hole. That's what I'm, that's what we're referring to here. And that's where the Queen of Swords comes in because this is a stark 
line being drawn in the sand between you and any sort of energies that only lead you to believe or feel like you are less than and that you cannot do for yourself. Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Underneath the Five of Pentacles is the Hermit. Uh, and what I'm getting very strongly from the, from the Hermit Taurus is that there is a strong belief within yourself, a belief of yourself, a belief in yourself that is coming through with the, with the, the um, with the hermit, and that's because of a strong sense of self-awareness, or you have worked your way up until this point, uh, up to this point, Taurus, by cutting out the fluff, cutting out the, the cutting the bullshit, and saying, look, I am not this five of pentacles energy. I can do for myself. I can work my way up there. I am capable, and thus, and that comes from your hermit energy, your sense of self-awareness. So some of you could have been going through this process of becoming more and more self-aware. And that is what has also helped you put into this, put yourself into this place of King of Swords, Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, being cognitively aware and understanding of your surroundings and now understanding how to move forward in a better way. Okay, you do have the lovers that has come out here. Um, that to me is just speaking to the level of union within yourself that it seems you have come to lately. Yeah, this is really excellent energy, Taurus. So what I'm going to do is... I'm sorry, I'm look there's a lizard in the house right now. The cats, I have two cats. And they like to catch lizards and bring them in the house. And there's a lizard in my apartment right now and I'm watching it walk across the threshold of the wide open door to the outside and it's not going outside go figure anyway Taurus sorry about that all right <laughs> let's get into the rest of this here I'm going to give this five shuffles for you and we'll see what other messages we have for you for the month of September yeah this is one for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, possibly even Venus. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a full complete, for a full picture of what could be potentially happening for you during this time period. Yeah, this is two. For my Taurus, I'm sorry, hold on a second. Hold on a second, you guys. Sorry about that, Taurus. I wanted to try and chase that lizard out the door, but instead it just slowly sauntered its way under my dresser. <laughs> All right, whatever, guys. All right, so back to it. This is three. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, and Rising, possibly even Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is four for the month of September of 2021. And this is five. All right. All right, Taurus. So let's cut the deck here. All right, overall energy, uh, you have the King of Cups. This is really good, Taurus. Um, there's a lot of mature energy here. What I'm feeling for you is that you there is even a level of enthusiasm that's coming through with this King of Cups energy, okay? Uh, it feels like you've gotten to the point, your enthusiasm is coming from this place of self-sufficiency is what I'm hearing, um, but standing up and recognizing what it is what it is you need to do what i just heard for some of you is recognizing what it is you need to overcome but standing very firm in your ability to do that okay king of cups underneath the king of cups is the seven of wands underneath the seven of wands is the six of wands and then underneath the six of wands is the six of cups okay um so for a lot of you you're standing up against past memories past circumstances, past situations. I just feel like there's an extremely mature energy coming through for you right now, Taurus, that is saying, that is recognizing what it is you need to do to overcome whatever it is that's necessary for you to overcome in this moment, and then doing that, okay? Following through with that, you know, having the, regardless as to what it actually physically turns out to be for you, Taurus, there is a level of emotional maturity that's got you to this place where you're like, all right, well, look, if I have to do X, Y, and Z, then I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and do X, Y, and Z. Like, there's no buts about it at this point. Okay. 
Um, but it's not even like you're in that energy out of obligation. Again, there is a strong level of emotional maturity that's coming through for you in this moment that's saying, look, I got to do what I got to do. But it's not only just obligation. Again, I'm feeling like there is a level of enthusiasm too because I really feel like, Taurus, you come to the understanding or you come to the point where you understand, you recognize, you see fully what it is that, that it's going to take to get you forward, to move you forward somehow, and you're just ready to do it, okay? This is excellent. All right. Let's get into the rest of this here. We're going to look at the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future of it. Yeah? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading. You've got the Nine of Wands. Good. Okay. Perseverance. Um, I don't feel like this is hard for you at the moment, Nine of Wands. I just feel like this is... You know, this is a mindset that you have set, you got yourself into that is sustaining you throughout the way. So keep in mind, this is the first half of your reading. So we're looking at the past up until the current moment. And so you've really been persevering, you know, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you've been getting, making any sort of uh, big amounts of, you know, progress or anything, at least maybe not in the way in terms of what you are looking to achieve um but i feel like that's about to change because i feel like now you've been persevering up until this point and now you have a deeper understanding of what it is that needs to be done okay so i do kind of feel like that there's going to be a lot of changes that are going to happen or there are going to be a lot of results that you're going to see that are going to be fruits of your labor okay nine of wands is coupled with the sun. See? Exactly. That's what I'm saying here. From the past up until now, first of all, the sun is representing your awareness of how it is would be best for you to proceed. Second of all is the perseverance, the amount of perseverance that you've shown up until this point is benefiting you somehow, even if it's just in the form of some sort of universal energies that are that like are at that are like filling your sails right now as you're moving forward um i'm also kind of getting an energy of there's a, i'm hearing universal momentum but momentum in terms of the direction that you're going in in which the universe is working with you on like there are universal energies at your side or coming to your um to your aid that you've been developing like you've been getting this momentum into play I hope that's making sense. It just feels like the, the amount of energy that you've expended up until this point, the amount of perseverance that you have experienced or put forth up until this point is starting to pay off somehow. And maybe that's just in the form of you kind of at this point now that you have a, such a deeper understanding of what is going on for you or where it is you're going or what it is you have to do. Um, you under you, there is a clarity now you understand how to move forward you see clear much clearer now how to move forward okay second set of surrounding energies for you taurus in this first half of your reading you have the knight of pentacles this is good okay perseverance again there's a lot of persevering energy but this also i um, this is also an understanding of the fact that whatever it is you're trying to develop or whatever it is you're trying to work towards is going to take time but that's where a lot of this King of Cups emotional maturity energy is coming through for you and that it's really benefiting you quite a bit right now, Taurus, okay? I'm getting what I'm getting with the Knight of Pentacles is there's just a very deep intrinsic understanding about the fact that you have to take this step by step, day by day, like nothing's going to happen overnight. And I don't even know if you want things to happen overnight. I think you're quite appreciative of the fact that this isn't necessarily going to happen overnight like this is going to take time because I feel like it's it's a relief for you because you don't have to be you don't have to be required to handle too much at once okay and I've also I'm getting that's part of the understanding that's putting you at ease so that you can stand up and handle this and at much such from such a mature level Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the, wow, look at that, the Knight of Cups. So not only are you moving forward slowly but surely, but also you're moving forward with guidance from your heart, 
your heart is leaving you, moving you forward. This is beautiful. I really like this. So it also, what this is kind of saying to me here between the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, it's like your heart and your mind are working together. Your heart is leading the way, but your mind is fleshing out the tangible steps to take in order to get to the destination that your heart is leading to you, leading you towards. This is excellent. Very excellent. Your challenge here, Taurus, in the first half of your reading is the Page of Wands. This doesn't feel like it's too much of a challenge, um, other than the fact that this is just you recreating yourself somehow, or you starting a new creative process, or starting a new creative project, or having a new message to send, or whatever. The, the challenge for you in this moment from the past energies up until now, which makes sense because you've been persevering towards this, the challenge for you is following through or continuing to move forward with some sort of transformation or change in direction, okay? Also, just to backtrack a little bit, what I'm getting now from the Nine of Wands and the Sun here is you're recognizing, is you recognizing that your perseverance is going to pay off, okay? Okay, Page of Wands as your challenge is coupled with the temperance card. All right. So, so again, yes, this is a challenge for you, Taurus, but it doesn't feel like it's that much of a challenge just because of the understanding that I feel you have in terms of what it is it's going to take in order for you to create this, to move forward towards this, in order for this to, this manifestation to become tangible. Okay. Temperance with the page of wands is your challenge. Um, so yes, there's a new creative direction that you want to move in. There's a new way of identifying. There's a brand new you that's emerging, whatever. But the temperance card is representing the energetic environment that's necessary for this new alchemation or, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, for this new alchemy or alchemization to happen, okay? So that you can emerge as this new individual or with this new lesson or new message. Okay. Yes, that is your challenge right now. But again, Taurus, it doesn't feel like that much of a challenge at this point because you've been persevering so much. You've been going, you've been dealing with this potentially for so long that it's almost, the, this process has almost become second nature to you, which is a good thing. Again, also what I'm feeling here, Taurus, is that you're really going with the flow here. Instead of trying to really control too much, you're going with the flow. And that's good. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Taurus. It, you do have the Eight of Swords. Now, what I feel like this is, though, I feel like this is a past circumstance or a past energy that you are working your way out of. It may have been the moment that you realized that you were trapped in some way, that you decided that you were going to start moving in this way or in this direction to get you out of this entrapment. Okay? Eight of Swords is coupled with, there you go, the Fool. All right, so what your challenge, or I'm sorry, your closing message or potential outcome is saying here, Taurus, in the first half of your reading is that all of this that you're doing right now is indicative of a process of getting you out of some sort of confinement, some sort of mental confinement, or maybe even some sort of physical confinement, okay? Physical um, entrapment that may be potentially like money or better finances could help get you out of okay that's beautiful yeah i like that taurus let's get into the second half of your reading yeah first set of surrounding energies for you we have the three of wands this is excellent so keep in mind guys in this second half of your reading we're looking at the current moment off into the future and we're literally starting you off with the exact card that represents that being in the current moment Knowing what it is that you're striving towards or striving for, knowing what it is that you're working towards, uh, knowing what it is that you are preparing for or whatever it is you're trying to build momentum towards uh, and preparing yourself for the fruits of your labor or your whatever it is you're investing in or whatever, whatever it is you've ordered, waiting, preparing for your boats to come in, okay? What this is saying to me for you, Taurus, is that you are future focused, future oriented. Some of you are even in this energy of like connecting with a future version of yourself and communicating with yourself and saying, how do I get to where you are right now? Beautiful. Three of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Swords. 
Ooh, ready to, I'm ready to fight to tear down anything that stands in your way. So I'm going to be honest, Taurus, I, I'm, I'm seeing this Knight of Swords here. And for some of you, I'm a little, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm wanting to, to speak to a little bit of caution for some of you, because this Knight of Swords energy is kind of translating into almost like an against all odds type of situation. Um, and it doesn't have to be that dire. You don't have to cut anybody down in the process. Yes, defend yourself. But I feel like for some of you, you can get a little bit trigger happy with this Knight of Swords energy, and that's not necessary. The only thing that's really necessary is to utilize the Knight of Swords energy that would, it, 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 against anything that would come through and try to, to destroy your manifestation or stop you in your tracks. I would not recommend allowing this Knight of Swords energy to run amok and just go happy-go-lucky being all trigger happy at, at, at the, like the first thing that steps to you. You know what I mean? But also this Knight of Swords energy is coming through because I really feel like there's a strong level of determination to not be stopped because you may have been a victim of other people's influences trying to stop you, trying to get in your way, but there is a level of aggression and determination here that's coming through with the Knight of Swords that's saying, do not try to stop me. Like, don't step to me. Like, don't try and um, sabotage my situation because I will, I will fight back. It, it, it does feel, for the most part, Taurus, it does feel like a very defensive position, which I don't blame you. I don't see anything wrong with that. I just, just don't allow yourself to get trigger happy, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading, you have the Two of Cups. This is you working in tandem. So remember, the lovers came out slightly or, or briefly for you which was representing this balance this harmony this union within on a spiritual level on a soul level and that's translating into that energy being represented in your day-to-day -day life okay this is the moment this is the energy that is sustaining you your uh, what i'm hearing is this is the energy that's sustaining your process so sustaining your this is like the self-sustaining energy or the self-charging battery within you, the two of cups. This is the balance and the, the union, the harmony between the masculine and the feminine energies within you. And those masculine and feminine energies come together in a creative way to generate energy and to create this source of inspiration for you. So the reason why you're able to move forward in this way, Taurus, is because you have reached a balance or a harmony or a union of masculine and feminine energy within you. And I'm literally seeing this as the two of cups, that masculine and feminine, as the creative process, the self-sustaining creative process that keeps this engine running for you. This is beautiful. The Two of Cups is coupled with the Two of Swords. That's very interesting, um, but it's a good thing because what this is saying to me here is you're not focused on anything outside of, you know, okay, what I'm getting, what I'm getting here, Taurus, is that you have an understanding that you're, you have an understanding that has you internally focused. You are not paying attention really to anything external to you because you recognize that the battery is within you. So if you sustain this energy, if you sustain this balance, this two of cups energy, okay, if you sustain that, then your batteries will be sustained. So what I'm getting here for this is like you're, you're blocking out any sort of needless energy from the external because you have what you need within. That's good. That's good. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, is the Page of Pentacles. All right, so you had the Page of Wands in the first half of your reading, which was looking at the past up until the present moment. So in the past, up until the present moment, there was the inspiration, you can call the Page of Wands, the inspiration to move, the impetus to move in a new direction. Now, as we get into the current energy moving forward, now this is about taking that inspiration of the Page of Wands and making it tangible. Page of Pentacles, okay? taking the actual action steps in the physical to start to bring this to physical manifestation. Page of Wand, Pen, sorry, Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Ace of Swords. There's that Ace of Swords again. So this is literally, Taurus, bringing your vision, bringing your understanding, bringing your wisdom into some sort of tangible focus. Bringing the inspiration, bringing the understanding, bringing the, the know-how. So you started with the page of wands in which you were inspired to move forward in a new in a new way. 
okay? And now this Ace of Swords to the Page of Pentacles is the understanding of how to make this tangible. And then, the, so the challenge and the current energies towards off into the future is following through with that. But don't get too discouraged because I do feel like there is at least a, a, a there is at least enough of an understanding for you to start taking action steps. Okay, you don't have to necessarily have all the answers or the whole plan down right now, but at least get started. That's what I have. That's what I'm feeling. That's what this Ace of Swords represents. It's at least the idea for the first steps to take. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading. You've got the Ten of Wands. That's interesting. Um, I don't usually get too discouraged or too concerned when the Ten of Wands comes out for you, Taurus, because you're the bull, okay? You can handle a lot. Like, you can carry a lot on your shoulders and, and be able to sustain it and not be able to break down. So what I'm getting for this, Taurus, is that you may be entering into a, a time period or a realm in which you're going to have to be responsible for a lot of things. Like you're going to have a lot on your shoulders, a lot on your plate, but I really don't feel like it's nothing you can't handle. I don't, I really don't feel like it's anything you can't handle, Taurus. Okay. It just may be a lot for a while. And often, and, and oftentimes, you know, we'll, we'll start, we'll start doing something new and it'll be really burdensome because it's totally new to us. But then we start to get the hang of it and it's, it ends up not being so heavy any longer. Like we, we get stronger and so we can carry it more efficiently. Ten of Wands is coupled with, ah, death. That's interesting. So I'm getting two things from this, Taurus. The first thing that I'm getting from this, Ten of Wands to Death, is the, the direction that you're moving in is going to change a lot for you. You're going, you're transforming out of a time period where things were almost just too much. You had the weight of the world on your shoulders and you couldn't seem to get ahead. That energy is shifting for you now. You are transforming out of that energy. Also, what I'm getting is that, like I said in the beginning, there's going to be a heavy amount of burden on your shoulders for a hot second. But through this, you can consider this to be some a bit of strength training. And through this, you will be able to become stronger and thus transform to where this is no longer that much of a burden on you any longer. I love that, Taurus. That is excellent. Okay. I, I, and I want to remind you, I want to remind you that you do have victory in your overall energy here in the Six of Wands, okay? So hold those boundaries, Seven of Wands. Maintain the emotional maturity that you know you need to maintain at this point. King of Cups, Seven of Wands, Six of Wands. You are going to be successful somehow, okay? Excellent. Let's close out this reading with Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck, yeah? All right, I'm gonna give this three shuffles here. Oops, there goes a few cards. Hold on. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna give this three shuffles for you, Taurus. One, two, and three. All right, closing Oracle Guidance for you, Taurus. Closing the Oracle Guidance for my Taurus, please, Spirit. Closing Oracle Guidance for Taurus. Oh, there it is. You have card number 48, Goddess Freya and Amber, the Untamed. We bring you the empowerment of the untamed. To be untamed is to be true to oneself without condition. It is freedom, but it is not always easy. There are many belief systems, some of which are considered to be essential and beyond question to mainstream society, 
which would mark an untamed spirit as a dangerous and suspicious creature, even though that untamed spirit serves unconditional love. Yet, to be untamed is the only way to discover who you are and live your divine destiny. Behind the clothing, the social masks, and the stories you tell yourself, or that others tell you, there is a beautiful, wild, divine creature that wants out. Uncage that divinity and watch your wild beauty emerge as you and your world transform through raw grace. Excellent, Taurus. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. October. Whoa. Whoa, guys. The year's almost over. Anyway, take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>